We, and let me add my welcome to everyone who has come out for this community forum. Dr. Casey, we're glad to see you and so many of our fine educators um, and school board members, along with uh, so many members of the business community and the community at large. Uh, we appreciate you being here. Uh, it's important to have this type of uh, open forum and dialogue. I'd like to talk for just a moment about how we got here today. Uh, as many of you know, our community has debated and discussed school unification issues for decades. Almost four years ago, the Chamber launched its Impact 2012 strategic plan that identified a series of recommendations to improve our community's ability to recruit, retain, and expand certain types of businesses. The Chamber has formed a task force of business and civic leaders, as well as leaders from both school systems, to study school unification and the impact it has on public education. The task force engaged the Carl Vincent Institute from the University of Georgia to study this issue, and after an 18-month process, that study recommended two things. Unification of our two school systems is a much better platform for implementing education reforms and is the right first step for achieving that goal. That unification foundation, that a unification foundation, be formed to support the new school board in driving education reforms throughout the school system, the unified school system. The Chamber's Board of Directors unanimously supported the decision to pursue a united and unified Valdosta Lowndes County school system. In 2009, various educational, civic, and business leaders came together and ultimately formed CUE, Community Unification for Educational Excellence, with the goal of improving public education and graduation rates and other educational outcomes in Valdosta and Lowndes County. CUE was also formed to lead an effort that would allow the voters to decide whether or not to unify the Valdosta City and Lowndes County school systems. One of the first decisions made by CUE was whether or not to pursue a city or county-wide vote. State law provides two methods for voting on school unification. The first method allows the city voters to petition on a referendum that would annul the independent school charter and become part of the county school system as mandated by the Georgia State Constitution. The other option is to ask the local delegation to sponsor legislation that would require a city and county referendum on school unification. If both referendums pass, the city and county school system would unify. Despite what some critics say, both options were analyzed and discussed with school leaders at the time. As we explored, uh, as QE explored its options, it became real clear from our discussions with those school boards at the time that they would not support this effort. Thus, their refusal to take a position on school unification referendum presented QE with no alternative but to pursue the voter initiative, which is where we stand today. 